So lately I've been kind of interested in religious trauma and I've been looking into that. Somebody had suggested it to me. Um, you know, the more people I talk to who had religious upbringings, the more I'm starting to realize that my upbringing was unique. Like my spiritual upbringing, unique and probably a little strange. Um, I think there was a lot more emphasis in my upbringing on like the spiritual warfare part of Christianity. So like, you know, from a very young age, I was taught all about all these demons and there's probably demons in my room and I need to cast them out. And literally there's a spiritual war going on and I've got a guardian angel and I literally need to do my part in that. I need to get that angel on my side. Um, you know, otherwise these demons could potentially hurt me like, it's actually a dangerous situation. This is like life or death, right? I remember being so scared as a child, like, I just always like pulling the covers on my head, like I was the slightest sound, right? And, you know, it didn't help that I was like slept in the basement. And I remember just the terror I had a lot of the time. So I was just a really scared child. Um, you know, it's funny, if I actually look up the definition of religious trauma, or do like an online test or something, like basically I tick every single box. And you know, like, like what, is, what does trauma even mean, right? Um, I think it kind of means like you're triggered. Like there's things that trigger you. You're not acting completely rationally. Um, I think I, I mean, it's obvious, like, you know, I was raised that way and then I've kind of flipped to the complete other side just to like distance myself from it, just to get away from it, to try to like heal myself, I think. Um, but it, it's pretty obvious that I have quite a bit of anger towards that. You know, and I've been wondering lately, like, is, sh like, what, what should I do with this anger? It, it, should I be angry at religion? Should I be angry at the people who taught it to me? You know, I think ideally I wouldn't be angry. But yeah, it, it's something, I don't know, I've been, I've been interested in this idea of anger lately. Like, where does this anger come from? I've, I've noticed there's a lot of people who are angry and it's like boiling up inside of you, right? So it's funny, like talking about trauma, right? Because it almost makes me feel like, Oh, you don't have trauma. Don't talk about it. Don't be like a little wimp, right? Like there's people who have experienced way worse things than you have, like whatever, right? But like, here's an example. Um, I basically couldn't watch horror movies until I was like 30 years old. And even then the type of horror matters. So like horror with like a killer and like jump scares and stuff. I mean, that's one thing. You know, that I still don't do well with that. <laughs> But, you know, horror where there's like a spiritual component, like some kind of demonic thing going on or like exorcisms or like, um, you know, even like, like vampires are okay when it's, it depends on the type of vampire, but like if it's one of those demon kind of vampires. So as an example, um, as a bit of an exposure therapy a couple years ago, um, I decided I'm going to watch Midnight Mass. So it's a series. So there's a lot of episodes, right? And, you know, just looking at the poster of that, I'm like, uh, that's, I don't want to watch that. Um, so I got Lexi, we watched it together. We'd watch like one episode, maybe a night, um, every second night, something like that. And I remember there's just one moment where, like if you've seen it, there is like, I don't want to spoil it, but there is this kind of demon. Is it a vampire? Is it a demon? It's something, it's some kind of weird creature. Um, it's certainly not like a cool vampire from like, you know, interview with a vampire. Like you saw that movie back in the day with like Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt. Not that kind of vampire. This is like a scary demon vampire that's literally all skin. Anyway, he flies at the camera. He can fly. He flies at the camera at like, insane speeds at one point. And literally the response I had, I exploded out of my chair. Like it wasn't like, oh, I, I, I flinched. I exploded out of my chair, like flew almost. And like, I was across the room in like a split second. I freaked everybody out 
both cats went like <laughs> scurrying. Um, Lexi, like she wasn't even like as scared at the show. She was just reacting to me freaking out. Um, so like, these are the kind of like, it's an involu involuntary response that I have to these things. Um, and then for about three months after that, literally like I could sleep, but it was on my mind. Um, and especially if I woke up in the middle of the night, you know, the first thing that I would think of when I opened my eyes was that vampire thing. And like, if I went to the bathroom, like I'm literally tiptoeing this, is like if I went to the bathroom in the night, I mean, I'm literally like tiptoeing and I would have to like, you know, the hallway is right next to our bath. I'm like, I have to close that door. Right. And it's so stupid. Like I, I know the funny thing is, is I'm, I'm, I consider myself a rational person. I'm like a skeptical person. Like I, I can easily say that's dumb. That's stupid. That's not real. But I don't want to tell you, like there is something about that for me where it overrides my rationality and it, it like freaks the hell out of me. I, you know, and then I can, I can barely get to sleep. You know, it doesn't help maybe that I have like very vivid dreams. I think there's something going on with my brain too, where I can wake up and it almost takes a while for the dream to wear off. And there's this time where I'm awake, but I don't know if I'm awake. I'm still in the dream. I can like sleepwalk. I can sleep talk. I can see things. Um, you know, I've got all kinds of stories. Lexi would have all kinds of stories actually like, the other night I woke up and I was just, I was talking to her, but you know, I was still dreaming and I'm just like, I had this dream that the cats had taken all the drywall down. Like they had like smashed it. They had smashed the drywall off the walls. <laughs> and I'm like, they took the drywall down. The cats hit the, they, they crashed all the drywall off the walls. And she's like, what? Like what? So these are the kind of like funny things that happen on a regular basis, but vivid imagination, you know, I'm not sure if it's a personality thing or what, you know, and I, I also ask how much of my personality has been shaped by my religious upbringing and the anxiety and the fear, right? They say the INFJ personality is almost ruled by anxiety. And I would say that's accurate for me. Um, a lot of anxiety, which I think anxiety in healthy doses is good, right? Because otherwise you're probably a psychopath. I mean, that's what they say about psychopaths is they have low to almost no, no anxiety. So like literally they get pulled over by a police, they get a dead body in the trunk and they act totally normal. They don't act weird at all because they don't have anxiety. I'd be like, yeah, there's no dead body in my trunk. So yeah, I, I guess I just made this video just to talk a little bit about this. And you know, I, I do want to get over this sort of anger I have with religion. Like I would like, yeah, I, I really would like to get over it so that I'm not triggered by it. But, you know, the more irrational people are, the, the more wild their beliefs, it's like, it brings me back to my childhood when I was told lots of things which are essentially opinions. My mom might call them beliefs. Whereas I would just say they're opinions that were taught as facts. And that right there, it's the claiming of truth when you don't really know. If I had to say, that's, that's one thing that just triggers me these days. So anyway, trying to get over it. I almost wonder like, if I criticize religion and I say things about it to try to find allies, I think that's a lot of it. I want to find people like me, people who I can talk to about it. So, um, and you know, like, unless you've experienced that, you just don't know. Right. And then you're like, you know, people look at me and they'll be like, what's wrong with that guy? Like, why is he so negative towards religion? Yeah. So yeah. Hope you have a great day. Just a couple thoughts on religious trauma.